Thanks for logging on to WCBI.com. I'm meteorologist Jacob Dickey. Today we'll see rain and storms throughout the day. Some scattered showers, maybe a rumble of thunder this morning, but better chances come into the afternoon and evening. I expect temperatures to get into the 60s for us, a little cooler to the north where some showers are already in place this morning, a little warmer to the south where we're holding off a little more dry. Here's what we're looking at into the Tupelo region. I've got Tupelo at 64, 62 down the road in Pontotoc, New Albany at 61. We'll see 60 in Boonville, Iuka, and in Ripley, 62 out in Water Valley. And uh, much of the same as we head to the south, we're still seeing 60s, but I think we're a little warmer into the Golden Triangle. This is because we are holding off on some of those showers until perhaps a little later in the afternoon. 67, what I'm forecasting in Columbus, 68 in Starkville, 68 also in West Point. We'll get to 66 in Winona, Louisville at 68. And then in West Alabama, 64 in Hamilton, 66 in Soldier and in Vernon, 68 in Reform, Aliceville, getting up to 70 today with south winds between 5 and 10 miles an hour. Here's how future cast is this morning. Notice here, uh, some of these light showers carrying on through. By the time we get close to the lunch hour, we may see showers and an isolated thunderstorm across the central part of the area here. For the most part, very light in nature. The better chance for some of these heavier rain in storms is going to come into the evening and overnight hours. And somewhere we'll see a batch of heavier rain through the Golden Triangle, maybe a little bit south, maybe a little bit north here with some scattered showers elsewhere. That will continue into the overnight hours here. Heavy rain with perhaps a few embedded thunderstorms, but overall the severe threat, very low with this. We don't expect really anything at all to happen. I won't rule out maybe a stronger gust of winds and some heavy rain. Maybe even a little flash flooding as some of these storms can train over each other. And by 3 a.m. then there's the cold front across the area here. It will push on through by the time we get into Saturday morning heading out the door perhaps uh, for some football or, or whatever the case may be. Most of us will be dry but I won't rule out perhaps a little isolated drizzle, a few sprinkles or some light showers in the morning hours. Though that looks to start clearing as we head into Saturday afternoon and evening and we'll still probably keep things mostly cloudy through the day. Maybe a few peaks of sunshine here and there. By Saturday night then we really clear things out and get those winds out of the east on Sunday. Sunday looking beautiful out there. Lots of sunshine coming for us. We'll be looking for a great day there. Now, how much rain do we get? We've been advertising about one to two inches, and that still seems to be on track. Uh, wherever there's heavier showers and storms will be, we could see some locally higher amounts here. So we'll have to watch and see where that is. One to two area wide, perhaps up to three inches in localized spots through Saturday at noon with this particular system. Of course, some spots may see just a little less and some spots perhaps just a little bit more. So again, some morning showers on Saturday, but we'll be clearing things out into the afternoon, perhaps getting a little sunshine in if we're lucky. Uh, the best chance for sun, though, comes on Sunday. A bit cooler, more of a, a late December weekend for us here than a, a late November. But we're transitioning to that, that active fall pattern here, active wintertime pattern with a couple of rounds of systems. This one comes on through Saturday, by Saturday morning, and then we'll have a couple days of some quiet time here. Sunday, really looking beautiful. Monday as well, looking pretty great. Perhaps a few more clouds with some south winds back in place. But with a slight warm up here by Tuesday, another front comes on through, and I think it'll drop us down some. We're still looking a little uncertain with how things play out as we head into Thanksgiving week here. Uh, but I'm going to keep things in the 60s for now. That may very well change. There's a lot of disagreement with some of our data looking for. And so we continue to see what's going to happen Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, unfortunately, I still have high uncertainty with how I think things play out. I do think that the chance for severe weather, though, is going down with this particular system, but we may very well see this front stall out or perhaps uh, not quite clear the area, and that could very well mean we have some more showers to deal with as we head into Thanksgiving. For now, though, it looks like it may very well. We'll just have to wait and see how things play out here. In the meantime, over the next seven days, it does look a bit active with uh, two to three inches of rain across the region. Uh, some more coming with that second front on there. Quick check in the tropics here. Still Still this morning, we've got Tropical Storm Sebastian. It is weakening and heading out to sea. Not a threat to the mainland U.S. Notice as it carries off to the north and east. They're staying in open waters. It's what we call a fish storm, only affecting the fish in the open Atlantic. Not a threat to land moving forth. So we'll watch this system here. Just some heavy rain. No big concerns moving forth on Friday and on Saturday. Nice weather Sunday and on Monday. I'm still going to advertise some rain and storms on Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday, the uncertainty is fairly high still. I'll advertise at the minimum some isolated showers heading into Thanksgiving.